Netflix royalty Millie Bobby Brown is back with a brand new film called Damsel. A movie so brave, so bold, it dares tell the story about a damsel in distress who has to save herself. That sounds familiar to a movie that came out a year or so back called The Princess with Joey King. It should, because that was kind of the same thing. But these stories are told very different ways, and honestly, not half bad. Let's talk about it. This is another Netflix joint, which is not a praise in my book. Oftentimes these movies are hot trash. Occasionally they rise above mediocrity to something a little bit special. But for the most part, you're lucky if you get something serviceable at the end of the day. Now, if you like my reviews and talking about some of the stuff that goes to streaming services, which a lot of channels don't do, feel free to subscribe to the channel as I post tons of movie reviews, roasts, rants, live streams, all movies all the time. Would love to have you stick around. Like most streamers these days, I had no advertising for this film. I might have saw an Instagram post at some point, but really nothing. I didn't see a trailer. It showed up on the home screen for Netflix, number one in movies. So I thought, all right, it's trending. I'll check it out. It's got to be okay. It's got Millie Bobby Brown in it. I really like her as an actress. She's just lovable. She has a she has the it factor in my book. A couple things to note right out of the gates is PG-13. It runs about an hour and 40 without the credits. And it's pretty geared towards all ages, I would say eight years old and up. There's not a lot of scary stuff. There's not a lot of, there's some, there's some blood. There's some blood, there's some violence, but it's not, it's pretty tame. It's like a small step up from a Disney movie from the 90s. And that's really how this movie feels for the first half. Very Disney-esque going into this. We have a poor provincial town hoping to make ends meet, get some gold in their pocket, get some coin to their name. And they do so by a father making a deal with a faraway kingdom to marry off the daughter. That daughter is Elodie, played by Millie Bobby Brown. Fun fact, Elodie sounds like Melody. There's nothing more to it. It has no bearing on the movie. Another fun fact and something I did my due diligence on, a lot of research went into this, Millie Bobby Brown is not related to Bobby Brown. And after a few more hours of research, I've determined she's also not related to Clancy Brown or Charlie Brown. A couple of things you should know. This is the kind of information, these are the kind of facts you're gonna get from my channel. I call them Adam Fun Facts. So make sure to stick around for those. What the hell was I even talking about? Oh yeah, Damsel, the movie I just watched. Millie Bobby Brown's character, she's married off to this new family and it becomes very apparent that they have an odd tradition. A tradition of blood sacrifice. And that's where this movie is really going to kick into gear. After about a half hour, we have our character Elodie down in the caverns and she's going to have to take on a dragon. That's right. That's right. We got dragons in this, baby. Now, one or two of you might be rolling your eyes at this point going, oh, here we go. Another strong female lead going to do whatever it takes to win the day. And she doesn't need no man. And it's just this really schlocky writing from Hollywood. And it's not that. It's really not that. I mean, yes, she is a, a strong female lead, but in the right way. I really like the growth of this character. I like how they developed her. It has some pretty cool moments. It's got a, a scene of, if you're claustrophobic, there is a section of the movie where she's worming her way through some small crevices, trying to get through a cavern or two. I've been listening to a lot of cave horror stories lately on YouTube, people getting trapped down there. So this one hit hard. I, I was having some really, really bad PTSD to those stories thinking, I hope she gets out of this. There is some tension in the film. She does, again, she grows as a character, which I like. She learns things that she'll use later on in the film. Some decent storytelling there. Angela Bassett's here to add a little class to the picture, although she doesn't have a ton to do. And that's the same for Robin Wright, who plays the evil queen. Very one-dimensionally, mind you. There's not much to this character. There's not a whole lot to this movie. And that's not a bad thing. It's not overcomplicated. It's not overstuffed. It's not overlong. It's a pretty easy, quick watch, a survival action flick. There are some negatives for sure. This is a green screen movie. And with that comes a lack of tension in certain situations. Like I said, some parts really work. They have practical effects. You feel like you're in the moment with this character trying to survive. But then at other times, it's just these guys walking in front of a green screen, kind of reacting to stuff. It doesn't look real. It doesn't look great. Everything has a very high res polish to it, 
which can really take you out of it. It, re it just feels like you're watching people reacting to fake stuff around them. There's no grit. There's no grime like you get with the old Lord of the Rings films. But it's unfair to also compare this to those brilliant pieces of art. This isn't art. This is just getting you through the day. So if you're looking for something to pass the time, this is a movie that will entertain. I found myself enjoying it. I was engaged with it. I actually sat and watched the whole thing with my wife and we didn't get up once or have to go do anything else. It's a perfectly average movie and sometimes that's all you need. I wouldn't say rush out and watch this, but if you like Millie Bobby Brown, if you like fantasy stuff, if you like the survival angle, you'll get something out of this, I think. Especially if you have kids, they might be interested in this one. Again, I would skew maybe nine, eight, nine and up. I can also see people completely hating this one, but for me, it was fine. Netflix has set a standard and that standard is so low. The curve is so low now that something like Damsel comes along and it's almost an exciting breath of fresh air going, okay, this is competently made. The story makes, I mean, a little bit of sense. There is some stuff that's absolutely absurd. You have to freaking shut off the brain. You know what? I'm going to say something that it's not really a spoiler, but you might not want to hear it. Um, we find out that there has been a lot of princesses that have been thrown into this cave because it's a sacrificial thing to keep the uh, dragon happy. And the fall that these princesses have to do, these newly married women, is hundreds of feet down. They're catching on branches and stuff, which I guess is breaking their fall. But if you see this in the movie, you're going to be like, um, what? All these women survive the fall. And not only that, manage to make it through the catacombs, make it through some like crystal area, and then get down in the same exact spot of this cave structure. That doesn't add up at all. That's absolutely ridiculous. It, it's completely absurd. But again, you, you have to kind of push away from some of the logical standpoints of this and just really take it as a survival film. All that other stuff is just whatever. It's background noise. It doesn't really matter that much. As for Millie in this movie, she's really selling me on it. She's getting hurt. She's crying. She's getting angry. All the emotions are there. I'm believing her. She's selling it. Unlike some of these other movies that have come out where they are just acting in front of a green screen and it shows. I think she's doing a great job in this movie. I was very impressed with her. So kudos to this actress. She did a good job selling me. Everyone else just kind of along for the ride, but it really is a Millie Bobby Brown picture at the end of the day. The dragon design, one final note of uh, positivity, looks fantastic. I loved the look of this dragon. I thought it looked really cool. Um, it, but again, we're, you know, we're not comparing this to the hobbits where, where the budget's like probably 10 times higher. The, the scale is so much more epic, so much more grandiose. This is a smaller picture. It's a smaller story. And, um, I, I went in with that knowledge and I left pretty, pretty satisfied, I guess I would say nothing. I'm going to rush out and watch again. But again, this is a, this is a movie that you could watch with your family. And maybe that's enough at the end of the day, if you're looking for something, anything at this point. Damsel, not too bad. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you seen it already? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Are you intrigued now to at least give it a watch? Please, please comment. Like the video, it helps with the algorithm, I think. And subscribing helps just the channel grow because then I then I see people subscribing, they're interested, and they're going to stick around, maybe, maybe stick for around. Future ones. Notification bell will help with that. You hit that thing, and then these show up in your feed. Also, there's a super thanks icon. You can hit that and say, hey, Adam, here's a few bucks. I love that you're reviewing some of these streamer movies. Keep it up, sir. I appreciate it. And I have plenty more movies to review coming up. So hopefully I see you stick around. Take care.